Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we are doing a yin style class focused on your feet. So we're gonna really get into and stretch the feet as well as stretching into a little bit of the calves and the surrounding calf muscles as well. So very, very lower body focus. Um, you won't really need any props for this class, but I think it is a good idea to maybe have a blanket nearby and also a cushion. We'll jump right in and I can explain why. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna face towards the top of your mat and just coming into a seated position. And then you're gonna take your weight forward, tuck your toes underneath you. So basically like you're coming into a demi point and then you wanna see how far you can rest your hips. Now this might be enough for some people, especially if you have bunions and if your hips are too far above you, it might, this is where having a cushion to rest your hips on might be really comfortable. Otherwise, if you're able to bring your body all the way upright, this is another option as well. And again, you can always place a cushion under your hips to kind of cushion your weight here. And we're gonna be here for about two minutes, so it can be quite extreme. So try your best to hold this position. Keep those feet tucked underneath you. So we're really stretching into the soles of your feet. So get yourself comfortable, find the variation that works for you. And really try here to not sickle through the ankles at all. Keep your weight, just like when we're doing demi point, right over top and right in between your first and second toe. And so really, really settling into this posture. You can keep your eyes open or closed here. Imagine that you're able to send your breath all the way into your feet. And that you're feeling energy from the ground, from the pads of your toes, in through the rest of your body. And so we'll hold here for just one more minute, 10 more breaths. Make sure you're breathing nice and deeply, relaxing into those toes, try not to grip at all. Really release. your weight forward if you were sitting all the way back, palms right under your shoulders, very gently let those toes go and you might just want to roll through the ankles. We'll stretch through the toes slightly and just tap the tops of your feet on the mat ever so slightly and gently just kind of returning the blood flow to those feet. So we have another ankle stretch here which is a little bit different. We're stretching into the front of the feet and I'm actually just gonna move myself a little bit more into the middle of my mat so I don't get cut off in the frame here. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands, bring them behind you with your fingertips pointing towards the front of the mat and you're gonna lift your knees ever so slightly off the mat. So this isn't a huge movement here but already I feel a bit of a stretch into the front of my ankle. And for every dancer, this might feel different. Your knees might be at a different angle. Uh, you might need to play with how much weight you need to spill into your back hands here. If you feel any tugging or pain through the knee, just ease off, come back to your seated position, and then maybe go back into it. You don't want to push too far in this one. And in this stretch, it's okay to allow your feet to relax inwards a little bit. So there is a very slight sickle. We don't need to uh, keep that point in our ankle straight as we would in a dance class, for example. You can kind of relax into the ankles. You don't want any tension through the ankles at all in this one because they are holding a lot of weight as we relax into this stretch. So again, take a moment to settle. I will stop talking for the last minute so we can really breathe and just think of lengthening into through those feet. And just like before, imagine that you're able to send your breath into the front of your ankles so we can fully relax here.
then gently let your knees fall back to the mat. Bring yourself forward. We're coming on to all fours. So allow your knees to come under your hips. Maybe you want to roll through the ankles a little bit just to wake, and wake up those feet once again. And from this position in all fours, you're gonna step your right foot forward in between the palms, kind of coming to a half lunge. And for this here, you may want to place a blanket under that left knee. We're gonna be on that knee for a while. Or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is just fold my mat over to give it a little bit of extra cushion. And once you've come to this lunge here, we're gonna send the hips back and extend the right leg forward kind of into like a half splits, as if you were coming into the splits, but we're not gonna slide all the way out. What we really wanna focus on here is maintain a flex through your right foot, so there will be a slight muscle engagement through your right foot to keep that flex and stretch into your calves here. So that's what we're really aiming for, and we are gonna be here for a couple of minutes, so make sure you get comfortable, pat up your knee if you need to, and then your upper body is just gonna fold and relax. If you would like to place a block under your forehead here, that is also an option. Whatever you can do to make yourself more comfortable, really flex through that right foot so you feel like you're stretching into the calf. And we're gonna be here for a little while longer, breathing deeply. back up. We're going to transfer our weight forward, bending into that right knee. And you're going to bring both hands to the inside of your right foot. You can keep your knee padded here. And now from here, it's a little bit hard to see in the camera, but you're going to lift your toes and then open them up so that the outside of your foot is coming in contact with the floor. So the sole of my foot is not on the floor, it's actually lifted. So I'm coming into a little bit of a sickle here and really allowing that knee to open, but it is still at 90 degrees. And so you have both of your hands on the inside of your foot and you're welcome to stay up here on your hands or come down onto your elbows or come down onto some blocks. So find whatever variation works best for you here, but try to maintain your weight on the outside edge of that foot. And again, this is just targeting a different place in your ankle. So stretching a different point through your ankle. We'll be here for about another two and a half minutes as we were in the half splits. So again, get comfortable, make sure that left knee is still padded so we can stay here for a bit longer. And as always, breathing nice and deeply, releasing that hip, releasing that ankle.
And then very gently bring yourself back up onto your hands. Nice and slow, very slowly push yourself back out of that lunge. And you might want to extend that right leg behind you, stretching into the calf once again, just letting that hip lengthen, bringing some circulation back into that leg perhaps. And then we'll place that right knee back down on the mat underneath you. Let that mat unfur unfurl if you had folded it up underneath you. And we're gonna repeat those two poses on the left side. So stepping your left foot forward, finding your low lunge, getting settled here before we send the hips back. Try to keep that hip right up, that back hip right on top of your knee here. And then again, just like we did before, maintain that muscle engagement in the front of the left foot. We don't always flex quite this much in a yin class, but because this is focused on the lower leg, I really want to stretch into that calf. So keep that toe lifted up, pulling towards you, and then allow your upper body to really fold over that front leg. Try to relax your neck here so there's no tension whatsoever. And again, we're breathing deeply, feeling length through that left leg. You may also feel the stretch into the hamstring, which is totally fine. But try to continuously remind yourself to just bring a nice flex into that front foot. And we'll be here for a couple of minutes, breathing nice and deep. back up, bend into that knee, walk yourself forward. I realized about halfway through that that I forgot to pad my knee on this side, so I am going to go ahead and do that so that I can be sure that I can stay here in this pose without fidgeting. And then just as we did on the first side, you're going to lift your left toes, open that knee up. So we're coming to the outside edge of your left foot, really Relaxing into that hip, try not to grip anything here, and just sort of allowing your left foot to sickle slightly, so we're just getting into the ankle, and of course getting into that left hip. And then find whatever variation works for you with the upper body, whether that's coming up onto your palms, onto some blocks, or onto your elbows as I am here. And again, we're gonna just breathe for about a couple of minutes, not too, too long today. This class will be a little bit shorter in comparison to other yin classes anyways. So breathe nice and deep for our last big pose here. Just relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulders. Let the weight of your body pull you deeper into the stretch.
very gently and slowly with no rush at all. Bring yourself back up onto your hands. You can release the fold of the mat and send your weight back. Maybe stretch into that left leg again, stretching through the calf, elongating through that hip. And we're gonna come all the way down onto the mat, onto your back. And as this is a shorter yin class for today, we're just opening up into Shavasana. So nice and easy. And again, we won't be here for too long, only about two minutes, which again, for a yin class is pretty short. So just allow yourself to take up space and to just feel your body given to gravity into the mat. And especially after that very focused class on the feet and lower legs, let's notice any sensations through the feet and the calves, perhaps through the knees. Notice if there's any tingling or any heat. If we're still holding any tension, perhaps, in these areas. And really just become hyper aware of this lower part of our leg. Take a moment to thank yourself and also to send gratitude to your feet for all the work that they do. Not only in, in dance class and when we're training, but even just in a normal day-to-day -day life, carrying you through your schedule, carrying you through your environment, we go through a lot of stress and strain throughout the day and hold a lot of tension. So thank yourself for giving your feet this gift of this stretch. And we'll take another minute just to breathe on the mat, living in this feeling of gratitude, finishing off our class here. to wiggle your fingers and toes. Wake your body back up. Circle the ankles, circle the wrists. When you're ready, roll onto your right side. Take a moment to settle on this right side of your body. And again, nice and slow on your own time, push yourself back up to a seated position. right on top of your sit bones as we bring our hands together in front of your heart and bending forward. Namaste. Thanks again, dancers, for doing this class with me. I hope your feet are feeling nice and stretched out. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness, and I'll see you on the mat again soon. Bye.